Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure review. We have the Mandalorian Super Commando Captain from the Clone Wars. This is one I'm particularly excited about. Really looking forward to the Super Commando that is also due out any moment. Uh, these are really just starting to, starting to creep out here in Australia. Um, I do have the Death Watch Airborne Trooper for review as well. Din Djarin will be coming up. I have reviewed Fennec, Ahsoka and uh, Jesse. Uh, you know, I've, I've got another one coming, which I'm going to keep sealed. Um, Figrin Dan, I'm not sure I'm going to worry about that. I kind of made the decision to stick with my current three and three quarter inch cantina band and put together the six inch Black Series cantina band. Um, it's going to be a bit more expensive, but not too much. So we're looking at VC246 and uh, talking about the card stock on these cards, much improved, much better. These are a nice, thick, sturdy card. They're not going to crease as easy. You know, these are fantastic. This is what we've been asking for for a number of years um, since the Vintage Collection returned in 2018. So we're finally getting it. Um, so thank you, Hasbro, for listening to us on that. Uh, particularly card collectors. Me, not so much. I don't really care. But it, it is nice to get one of these cards. And it's uh, it feels good. Looks good. Not sure I feel about the Photoshop job of the character here on the on the card. It looks a little bit. I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. I I know they're sort of trying to blend a little bit of animation and and, and live action, but uh, yeah, for me, it didn't really work. But that's okay. I'm about to crack this bad boy open. Let's do it. Again, VC246. Let's get the rubbish over there. And we have three weapons. It's a Mandalorian rifle. And two very, very small looking pistols. And we pop this bad boy out. It has been a little bit of a time coming for this one. We did get him in the Black Series some time ago. Um, wasn't an easy one to get here in Australia. It was, a, it was a tough one, so I'm glad this one has showed up nice, nicely for us. And I think it looks, you know, really good. Wouldn't mind getting a couple of these guys. And uh, please, if they could do a Gar Saxon, that'd be great too. So yeah, again couple of pistols they will hold in the hands very well but I'm going to keep them in the holsters oh, very soft too apparently that one just sort of folded right over but I will get that in there that will do pig that'll do so I dare say most of this is going to be, you know, repainted, repurposed, all that kind of good stuff. Um, not sure if it's different. I can't remember. I've got a couple of the, the Mandalorians, the Death Watch troopers from the Mandalorian as opposed to the Clone Wars. I'm not sure if they differ too much or whether they were, I think they were more like Din Djarin sculpt. So these ones have the sort of holsters sort of strapped to the leg. Uh, yeah, love the love the horns, love the colours, love the sort of scuffing and the paint. And there's this, you know, devotion to Maul and his occupation of Mandalore. But, uh, you can get this, get this rifle and put that in his hand there. That looks good. Seriously, we're very very spoilt for Mandalorians these days. Set it on Black Series and, uh, yeah, certainly getting that way in Vintage Collection as well. But, yeah, this is fantastic. Really, really nice. Spikes aren't too sharp, so you're not going to poke an eye at or anything with those. That's good. Jetpack, obviously, is removable, which I did unplug before, so that looks all right. Sort of the grey. Not grey. Yeah, sort of the grey matte grey look for most of the most of the holsters boots on a sort of cream jumpsuit 
But yeah, this is a nice looking Mando. Definitely be one that people will be hunting multiples of. And yeah, like I said, bring on Gar Saxon. I reckon that would be a absolutely elite figure to have in the collection. Or a pre Vizsla, even, even more so. Rook cast, that would be a nice one. Fill out a good squad of of these ones. Yeah, all the good articulation you expect from the vintage collection these days. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm just going to keep this one nice and precise, nice and short. Yeah, it's a, it's a good figure, but, you, you, but you're seeing what you're getting, so it's a nice helmet, nice sculpt. Love the extra horns on the shoulder pads. But yeah, as always, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.